Hello Taurus, welcome to your March 11 until the 20th love and relationship reading. This reading is intended for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. For any type of love relationship, it can be platonic, romantic, or even family. Before we begin, I want to say thank you to all my viewers for your likes and shares and for people who have subscribed to my channel. I appreciate you guys so, so much. So let's see what's going on for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What is coming for you guys this period of March 11 until the 20th? Love messages, spirit angels, and universe. Give us the messages for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What can they expect in love and relationship this coming period of March? Give us the energies. All right. So we already have one card that fell out. Wow. Look at that. Six of cups. Let me just cut the deck and then we are going to start with your reading. So six of cups is your first card. Interesting. Could be someone from the past or someone that you already knew way back. We have the three of cups as well. We have the five of swords. Then we have the Ten of Swords. Let me just move this real quick. We have the Ace of Swords. We also have the Star card. Beautiful. All right, so Taurus, you could be dealing with someone that has Aquarius in their chart. But I also see here a lot of water, all right? as well as a lot of air so it could be really any sign and there's going to be something refreshing in your life Taurus you are going to be cleansed spiritually and emotionally out of something that you have been carrying a burden a trauma could be a past traumatic relationship it, it doesn't mean that that relationship was violent. No, no, I don't feel like that. But I see that you have suffered in that relationship because you couldn't move forward from the memories. It has been a relationship that has been haunting and following you around. It doesn't mean that you are obsessing about it. I don't think so. But it's safe to say that there's no real closure on a soul level an acceptance or a clear cleaning of slate with that relationship from the past that you know time to time you may still think about it 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 could still cross your mind on your quiet times and that relationship is already over with the ten of swords clearly an ending has happened it it didn't really end uh, the way that you hoped it to end there could have been some anger and resentment left over because you know it was beautiful it is a relationship that was bursting with happiness you know that kind of feeling where you just know someone is right for you that you know you hold a very special place in your heart for that person and it seemed like for a long time no one could replace that person in your life that is the six of cups that very act of kindness or how this person treated you in the past was something that was very hard to remove, to erase from your memory. And it sort of stuck there and stayed there that being with this person or without this person hurt you a lot. It almost feels like every time you try and move forward, you still remember this person even though things clearly has already ended. And so it, it, it's sort of like a liminal phase, ending that and starting something new, and you are somewhere in between. So you have the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Swords. You acknowledge that something has already ended with someone special in your heart. Mentally, you're still fighting um, how to completely clean the slate and remove the memories, aka how to heal yourself from all of that special and fond memories that nostalgic feeling all right that is why you have the star card over here and with the three of cups and the ace of swords i feel like 
the reason why you have ended this relationship with this person is because someone or some external energy may have caused you both to separate, to go on different paths. It could have been a very small argument that blown out of proportion. I say that because I see the Five of Swords. There has been some form of an argument. Um, it could have been an energy because someone was competing over you or over the other person. And things were said out of the heat of the moment. All right? It almost feels like everything was going so well. Six of Cups and Three of Cups. There's definitely friendship and emotions deepening as you get to know one another. I feel like you have spent a lot of wonderful memories with this person. And you go to this person whenever you feel like opening yourself up. Whenever you want to have good time. Whenever you feel like life has been so difficult, you know. And you go to this person to open up. To, to really lighten your load up. And they always seem to be there to, to you know, show you that kind of gesture that you can run to someone and count on someone emotionally to be there for you. So that itself is a wonderful blessing. But I feel like with the Five of Swords, someone's ego got in the way. It could be someone else in the picture, you know, with the Five of Swords. And I'm getting that vibe that because this relationship has been interfered with external energies, something has been blown out of proportion. It was something that you and this person did not expect to happen. And so... This connection could have been ended very abruptly and there's no clear closure. But there's also an acknowledgement that the argument is way back in the past. The only problem here is that I don't feel like you both are communicating any longer. It's safe to say that things could have gotten a bit awkward, you know, because one person here felt betrayed even though the other person didn't really intend to betray the other person. Again, there's that vibe where I'm getting it's circumstances. It's circumstantial that you both um, found yourselves in the Five of Swords energy. It could be that subconsciously you didn't intend to hurt this person's emotion stores, but things, you know, were perceived differently by you and by this other person. And that's where the other person could have felt betrayed. Ten of Swords. So, with that said, transitioning from an ending to a beginning is a bit hard. But I do see you succeeding, especially in the presence of good people. And you need to be reminded, Taurus, that whenever an ending happens, it is for a reason. So that you can find a new beginning. So, you get, so that you can give room and space for new energies, new blessings, all right? Manifesting a new path into your life. And it can only happen if you close other doors that are not serving you at the moment. You may see this as if this person um, is very close to your heart. And I, do, I, I feel like you never really stop loving someone. But it is acknowledging that something is, has already ended. And so it is up to you, Taurus, if you keep on holding back and holding back from life as it, it is right now because you're still stuck up with the past. But I can only say with these cards, as long as you still, you know, live in the past, the Ten of Swords may continue to hurt you. And it may not necessarily be your case any longer. It may not necessarily be the truth in your life right now. Because I see you, you have already started moving forward. So if you mentally still process this uh, memories of the past, you know, you may live in the past and that might rub you off from the reality of where you are at right now. And so it's important for you to know with this Ace of Swords this realization may come to you in this coming days or it could be in your quiet times. You know that feeling where you just had a breakthrough, an aha moment. Um, say, for example, you've been caught up with feeling betrayed, feeling sad, depressed about losing a relationship or someone leaving you behind. You suddenly had that spark, that brand new idea. All right, It, it definitely came from the universe, from your spirit guides and from your angels. It almost is a powerful lightning striking your very being. 
and it, it made you came alive all right it made you believe in something you know powerful that you can forge in your life so from a period of being you know down and sad and depressed and betrayed you're going to rise and bounce back on your own two feet you're going to take charge of your life you're going to tap into the power of the universe with all of your um, experience and wisdom from the past use that powerful powerful energy to go after your best life even though this relationship has already ended your life hasn't really ended you know Ten of Swords, the death of something, quote and unquote something, is not the death of your entire life. I really feel that there are people here who want to celebrate you. You can turn to these people for care and comfort as you go through the transition. And best believe that, you know, you have, you have this opportunity to strengthen your spiritual journey as well. So it is important for you to acknowledge that if in order to move forward completely, you cannot do this alone by yourself. Even though the universe gives you gifts and enlightenment, realizations, you know, all of that which you can contemplate when you are alone, it's not truly going to manifest 100% healing if you don't tap into meditation. All right, listening intuitively to the voice of the spirit. Because then if you don't listen to that, it, it is so easy to fall back in a pattern of missing someone from the past and being trapped with past memories. So if you keep on feeding the spirit and listening to that voice of intuition, it's going to refresh in you into a whole new being, coming alive, letting go of a relationships, people that are not serving you, and letting go of all that hatred, that feeling of anger, could be you or the other person or in this whole situation and the star card is a beautiful beautiful omen to receive if you make some room and space to be by yourself shut down the noise of the environment say for example the five of swords energy right here is someone still trying to manipulate the situation or could be your tendencies to still be angry at someone and try to strike you know a fight into something you very well know is over it could just continue on opening some scars in your life and that would be a sabotage to your healing if you completely give your autonomy to the spirit as it will want you to heal completely it's going to be a deep journey of revelation yes it may require for you to distance yourself from five of swords energy something that can tempt you to go back and forth in the past you know but if you shut down all of that temptation, and if you focus on your center, be grounded with your energies, allow the universe to refresh in you, to enlighten you, and to learn the lessons with the past, you're going to feel complete and whole once again. You wouldn't even rely on anyone's comfort. It's not that it's a bad thing. You know, I see you celebrating a lot. <laughs> I feel like for some of my tourists here, you're, you guys are going out a lot. It could be planning a lot with your friends, sharing your ideas with people, sharing how you feel, this feeling of being betrayed, anger, and stuff like that. Well, if you're going to keep on feeding those conversations with stories of the past, how else can you make room for new stories in your life? How else can you grab a hold of this new opportunity, this Ace of Swords, a mental clarity, a peace of mind, if you keep on inserting such energies? Sorry for that. The camera moved. <laughs> anyway, the point here is that in order for you to become a whole new person, some, someone more wise, more um, enlightened and whole, all right? Choose what energies you feed in your soul. If you tap into the cosmos energy of healing, of power, of confidence, then that is definitely what's going to re resonate in your life. It wants to heal you. It wants to restore balance back in your life. It's not because of physical comfort, comfort from friends, comfort from the wrong reasons or feeling like you are above someone and superior over the situation stuff like that no true healing lies within paying close attention to what the spirit is wanting you to know all right so at the same time be gentle with yourself six of cups is a card of kindness be kind to everyone 
be kind even to the person left you behind. There is no reason for you to keep hatred. It's just going to be a cycle, see? And you're not going to truly move forward, all right? So instead of playing the victim, or if you think that, you know, you're the victim in this situation, it's not even about that. It's all about acceptance, realization, forgiveness, and then putting all of that love back to yourself in order to heal. So that is your reading. You're going to get through this, Taurus. Please meditate on this reading. If this resonated for you, let me know in the comment down below. This is an intuitive free spread reading. Let me know if you enjoyed this kind of spread. And I'm sending you guys love and light. I wish you all the best. I'll talk to you guys soon.